Hey guys, happy Monday. I am on my way out to work. This has been a thing for us, like to do drive times because I'm so busy in the morning that it's hard to get a video in. I teach school, so I have to leave super duper early. And so I get up early also to pray and seek God. And so yeah, the mornings are crazy, but I do want to give you a word of encouragement to start your week off. Where are my 5 a.m.ers? <laughs> I am an early riser. I don't like it, but it has changed the game for me. I tell everybody, you know, it is worth the sacrifice to get up at 5 in the morning and start your day. It is a game changer. You know, they say the most successful people are early risers. They get up 5 a.m., 4.30, start their day off. You know, you get your mind right, you spend time with God, exercise, get your day off to a great start. And I'm telling you, if I don't get up, you know, at five or a little bit earlier, I feel really rushed. <laughs> I feel off. So there is power and waking up early and starting your day and seeking God the first thing. First things first, right? Before you exercise, before you do anything, you you spend time with God. So that is just part of my morning routine. So anyhow, I wanted to talk to you all about not dimming your light. You were called to shine brightly. The Lord says, who puts a bushel under a lampshade, right? No, he wants you to shine your light. He wants you to share your gifts and your talents. And he wants you to be a light, a beacon of hope so that you can bring others to Christ, right? It doesn't glorify God by you, um, you know, acting as if you are so humble because and, and you just, you know, oh, I, I, you know, I don't know, you know, I'm so meek and meager and I never, I don't really, you know, no. You are called to shine bright. <laughs> the Lord has gifted you. And I don't want you to let people to make you feel like you have to back away or shy away from who you are. We are all created differently and uniquely. God gave us all different gifts. And I am just here to remind you that you are the apple of God's eyes. And sometimes people can make you feel like, oh. She's always got the answer, or she she's always got something to add or contribute. Well, good. <laughs> That's a good thing. Don't let people make you feel less than. You know, a lot of times people can be intimidated, you know, by the giftings and callings on your life, but you cannot let that stop you from doing what God has called you to do. So I'm just here to remind you shine bright shine like a star that you are and god is just so good you know every day he gives us new mercy so if you messed up and you got something wrong do not beat yourself up there is no condemnation in christ you are made righteous through him and you have to tell yourself that every day oh no when you're putting on the armor of god oh no satan i am the righteousness of christ jesus i put on the breastplate of righteousness i put on the helmet of salvation you have to do those things the bible says each day put on the armor of god so that you will be able to stand that's why it's good to get up in the morning, seek God first, you know, prepare yourself in your mind for the day to come because he knows what's in a day for you, right? Because our God is in the beginning, he's in the past, he's in the future, he's omnipresent, he is everywhere and all, he, time cannot hold him back or hold him down or hold him still. So yeah, it's just important you all that you start your day off before you make a pot of, if you got to make a pot of coffee, if that's what gets you up and going, hey, but let me tell you, getting up and starting your day early, making time to sit before the Lord, it just refreshes you, it renews you, and it equips you. He gives you the daily bread that you need to go and share and encourage someone else and lead someone else to the Lord. You cannot refresh someone else if you haven't been in the presence of the Lord. People know when you've been in the presence of the Lord. Hey. So, I just want to encourage you to go in this day with great expectations 
you know, looking for the good in others, you know, find that person that kind of gets on your nerve and look for ways to encourage them, look for ways to um, build them up, you know, I know you have a co-worker that gets on your nerves, be more patient with them, ask God to give you the grace to be patient and to walk in love and understanding, value others above yourself, that's a challenge that I try to tell myself every day, how can I value someone else, how can I put someone else above my own needs, right, that's what I'm going into this day, thinking how can I put someone else above my own needs looking for opportunities asking the father bring those opportunities to me so that I can glorify your name hallelujah right so new mercies is Monday it's a new day do not beat yourself up for something you did or you didn't get right our God is a gracious God he's a forgiving God every day he says every morning specifically there are new mercies. So you all have a blessed day. You know what I'm going to say. You are the head and not the tail. You are above only and not beneath. You are the apple of our father's eye. He loves you. He adores you. And the moment you understand the love that God has for you specifically is a game changer. The moment you say that my God loves me unconditionally is a game changer and you should pray that prayer God ask me help me to understand the breadth and the measure and the height of your love because when you know your God loves you you will run up a wall you will run through a troop honey because you know can't nobody hold you back hallelujah you all have a blessed day I love you and I will see you very soon